really excited because I'm here with the U.S. Embassy in Jamaica to talk about science, science literacy, the importance of education, and how this whole idea of you know, what we're developing tomorrow depends on the technology and things we build today. When we look at education for students, it's not just about getting a computer in the classroom, it's about making sure the laboratories are stocked. It's about making sure that they have adequate reading materials and different ways of approaching things, adequate sports facilities, adequate uh, arts facilities. Those are things that we owe to our children and to society. In terms of scientific and technological development, when I look at Jamaica, I know that there are incredible Jamaican scientists and engineers and um, medical doctors and people around. Many of them are in other countries. And so what we have to figure out, and I think this is across the world, in terms of the developing world, making sure that they have a place to come back and be a part of and to make their contributions in country. But I think we need to be bold. Um, I've been giving the students these bracelets to say, Dairy makes a difference. Um, that's my, my motto um, from uh, Dr. May's website. But Dairy makes a difference because we would not be as far as we are if somebody hadn't dared to do a number of different things. Space exploration has a long way to go. I'm happy to be involved with it, but it has made a tremendous contributions now. I run a project now called 100 Year Starship, and I'm leading this project that looks at developing the capabilities, or making sure the capabilities for humans to go to another star system exists within the next 100 years. It's not about a mission to another star, now we're not trying to build a Starship Enterprise, but making sure that we have the kinds of uh, energy sources that we need, that we know enough about recycling and life support. All the things that are needed to go to another star are needed for us to live on Earth today. 